After more than 10 years of a working partnership, the Southwestern Vermont Medical Center has formally joined the Dartmouth Health System. The announcement was going to be made at a public event on Wednesday, July 12th, but that was canceled due to the flooding from the recent rainstorm. The agreement became official on July 1st, according to a press statement released on July 12th. SVMC will become the sixth hospital affiliated with Dartmouth Health, which is based in Lebanon, New Hampshire. According to the press statement announcing the new relationship, the anticipated outcomes include a higher degree of sharing resources, such as improved access to state-of-the-art technology and the latest in clinical research. As a Dartmouth Health Hospital, SVMC's patients will experience improved access and expanded specialty care, including cancer treatments, orthopedics, and heart and vascular care, according to the statement. We had a chance to speak both with Dr. Joanne Conroy, the CEO and President of Dartmouth Health, and Tom D., the CEO and President of Southwestern Vermont Medical Center, about the evolution in the relationship between the two systems. So we have had a relationship with um, Southwestern Vermont Healthcare for 11 years. And it started with establishing and growing the physician practice there. Those physicians actually are credentialed and members of the um, Dartmouth Health Medical Staff. However, as we affiliate and really become clinically integrated and have our back office functions integrated, there's going to be a lot um, more synergy in the things we do. There are specific things that they are very interested in. Number one, getting on our electronic health record, EPIC, makes it very easy for patients to schedule appointments and physicians to share information about patients' medical issues so they can actually receive their care close to home. Um, There is a level of clinical integration that we can just accelerate which is expanding our cancer services, um, helping expand orthopedic services there. You know, the things that um, we develop across the health system, we develop together, but we figure out how can we actually implement them in all the member organizations so they can actually benefit from both um, standard protocols, standard practices, supply chain, all the things that make it possible for hospitals to be financially sustainable. All of our hospitals have a board that has a fiduciary responsibility um, to that organization. So that doesn't actually change. Uh, We will spend a lot more time figuring out how we can clinically integrate. The goal of the health system is to guide our members, give them the information that they need and help with strategic planning so they can be successful to grow our members in their markets. You know, how do we actually develop programs that help those organizations meet the needs of the communities and to enable, which is workforce, supply chain, all the back office work that is actually really important for health systems nowadays. The care is delivered at all of our member sites and we never forget that. And our goal is to help them be successful not necessarily to do a lot of top-down telling them what to do. We meet with the CEOs of all of our organizations every two weeks, and we make decisions together. Our goal is to keep services there, take care of the um, low acuity patients there, but probably increase their comfort level with higher acuity patients and actually grow the volumes there as well as, you know, meeting the needs of growing communities in Northwestern Massachusetts and Eastern New York, which they already draw from. Um, We do not want um, people just to track up to the Academic Medical Center. We're pretty full as it is, but we do want the high acuity appropriate patients to come up here. And those are people with complex medical issues, um, people with trauma, people with complex Um, surgical issues that actually should be cared for in a quaternary care facility. So our focus is growing programs that SVMC actually believes the community needs. I think, you know, we we started the affiliation back in uh, 2012 with the primary uh, relationship centering around the physicians and development of the Dartmouth-Hitchcock-Putnam Medical Group. 
But all along, uh, even from the beginning of when we made a decision to affiliate and went through and interviewed many institutions, our our intent was to have a, a deeper affiliation that would that would get into really a hospital to hospital affiliation, not just physicians. And um, and but we had the benefit of having time to work with each other and get to know each other and understanding the you know the pluses and negatives and of, of each organization. So I think you know it's been a natural progression of getting you know more involved and we've been good partners and you know we like them they like us so uh, and uh, we saw that there's a lot of benefits to be to a, to be accrued together and um, and difficult times also is really a time to help forge relationships and healthcare is under going through a lot of turmoil right now so um, we thought this was the best time uh, we had some false starts we thought we were would have it happen sooner, um, but uh, you know I think it's worked out pretty well. So really, the the concept here is that um, having more and more patients stay local for their care, and and this is really not about having patients go out to Dartmouth or go the the, the far away. It's it's to provide care locally and to create services with the help of Dartmouth that we can um, keep patients closer to home. And when they need to go for tertiary care and quaternary care, that we create a much more of a seamless system for getting them there for, for there and back. Um, and so we're going to focus on becoming a regional referral hospital. And that's going to require us to build certain services to a higher level than what we have now. And we're going to focus initially on, you know, the first three or four services are going to be in the area of, of oncology services and and expanding and creating cardiovascular, additional cardiovascular services um, and surgical services with an initial focus on orthopedics, but look at other surgical subspecialties too. So the, those won't be the only area that we focus on, Andrew, but those will be the, the prime opportunities that we think would allow us to, to take on a, a greater proportion of our community and have them cared for locally as, as through those services. But a big piece, piece will be primary care, you know, trying to continue to recruit and develop a primary care network of providers, which are, you know, so so much needed in our area. I think, you know, the areas of, you know, um, how we can buy together, for instance, a good example. I mean, you look at our hospital, you know, and, you know, we're, we're, we're a small com community hospital. We have about $200 million operation. Now, the Dartmouth Health System is, you know, about 1.6, 1.7 billion. So, you know, they do a lot more purchasing um, together than we do individually. And the ability to um, lump that together and get much better pricing, it's, it's pretty significant. And um, so I, I think that's going to create a real opportunity. I think the ability for us when we have to borrow money, um, you know, we'll, we'll get better rates than what we could get on our own when you look at a system-wide approach. You know, that's going to help us. I think the talent of, of Dartmouth with their, with their um, financial wherewithal and their treasury services, uh, that, will help, that will help assist us. Um, but the areas of sharing services, areas like, you know, you know legal services and audit services and compliance we can, and, and, I, and information technology, you know, we can do those things cheaper when we work together. And so I think we're going to have the ability to, you know, see some real savings that will hopefully eventually hit our bottom line. SVMC now joins other Dartmouth Health members, which include New Hampshire-based Alice Peck Day Memorial Hospital and Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center in Lebanon, New Hampshire. Other medical centers include Cheshire Medical Center in Keene, New Hampshire, the New London Hospital in New London, New Hampshire, and Mount Escutney Hospital and Health Center in Windsor, Vermont. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.